So this question says a right circular cone. So cone looks like this. I'm already started, starting off with this idea of plug-in picture. It mentions a cone without actually providing a, a visual of that cone. Has a volume of 71,148 pi cubic centimeters. So I'm actually pause there. The reference sheet for the math section of the SAT does give us the formula for the volume of a circular cone. That volume is one third pi r squared h. So I'm gonna just set that equal to 71,148 pi. It goes on to say, and the area of its base is 5,929 pi. Well, the base of a cone is a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we know that that pi r squared is equal to 5929 pi. It's important to know that this pi r squared here, I use a different color, this pi r squared here is the exact same as this pi r squared there, right? So I can combine these two equations and say, well, really the volume, the one third pi r squared h is the same as one third times 5929 pi times h, and that's where we get the 71,148 pi from. The question goes on to say, what is the slant height in centimeters of this cone? So the slant height, what is the slant height? So the height here is not the slant height. So a typical height is going to be vertical, right? So this, the height of a cone would be a, a line vertically straight down from the top of that cone to the middle of its base. So that's the height. But the slant height, I'll use a different color, I'll use green, the slant height would be this height here. Okay. So looking at those two things together, hopefully you see what I see, which is the start of a right triangle. This blue part that I put there is the radius of the circle. Okay. So we have R. Of course, H is the height, and then I'll call S the slant height. So let's do some math here. So what can I do? I can definitely determine what the height is, and I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna draw this right triangle elsewhere. So I'm gonna say, here's the right triangle, find some space, I'll just draw it here. Here is the right triangle I care about, where this is R, this is H, and this is S. I am endeavoring to solve for S, but I can solve for H based upon all the information provided. And I can actually solve for R as well based upon this information provided. But let's go with H first. So to do that, I'm going to multiply. Um, I'm actually going to go to my calculator and figure out what is 59.29 uh, divided by 3. So I get that value. And I'm going to then, so I'll write, I'll write out what I have. So I have 1,976, basically. 0.33 with a bar, and then we'll still include my pi here, and h is equal to 71,148 pi. Of course, I'm going to now divide both sides by this value here. So I'm going to take the 71,148 divided by the, I just want to make sure I have everything here, 1976, 1976. Point and I'll put you know a ton of threes there. So I get 36 as my answer. My pi's cancel out automatically. So I end up with the h equals 36. So that's my h value. This is 36 here. In terms of my radius, again, we know pi r squared. Let me just erase this red area out here. We know that pi r squared is equal to 59.29 pi. So if I divide both sides by pi, the pi is gone on both sides. I can then square root both sides here. So let's see, back to my calculator, what is the square root of 59, 29? And I get 77. So this is equal to 77. So my radius is 77. Now this is a right triangle, okay? So that means I know two sides of my right triangle. I'm finding, I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So I can use Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'd have 77 squared plus 36 squared equals, in this case, S squared for slant height. So let's do that math. 77 
let's see, 77 squared plus 36 squared is equal to 7,000. So this is equal to 7,225. So I'm gonna make sure you see all of my work. And then I'm gonna square root both sides. So square root of that is equal to 85. Okay, so there's our answer, choice D, 85. All right, so again, the, the video is longer than it should take you on your own. I just hope that I was able to show you every step of this. And you know, this is, I think, pretty valuable, this idea that we can start off with, with information about volume and area and then find a slant height, which is not even a, not even a, um, a part of the volume formula or the area formula, and we find it by using right triangles. I don't think any of us would have known by looking at this from the very start that this would turn into a Pythagorean theorem question, but this is a testament to just doing what you can with the provided information and letting that guide each step that you take after that.